Hey, I'm Eugene with G4 TV's The Feed. Tonight we're at the Insane Clown Posse's Hollow Wicked Tour. I've been a juggalo for 10 years, and tonight I'm finally going to meet the guys. Come on, let's go. someone depend on being down on your luck always. and not giving a fuck always yeah it's about family you know we don't discriminate we don't hate people by their color shape or size you know it doesn't matter so how long you been a juggler about a year a year so someone brought you in who brought you in what's up my baby that's all right man he ain't sound such a juggalo hey, there is no juggalos and juggalos we're all juggalos yeah. everybody's a juggalo what does being a juggalo at me to you there's a lot family. of family family I'm seeing a common theme here. How long have you been a juggalo? It's a juggalo. Okay, you know, maybe we should uh, switch questions. What are your views on political finance reform? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's a conservative. <laughs> what the dark carnival is, what it means to be a juggalo. Yeah, I mean, if you're a juggalo, obviously, you know, you're pretty much like, you know, you ain't one of the cool kids in your high school, you know what I'm saying? And if you are, so the fuck what, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're into that lifestyle and everything, so be it, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be looking down on other people because they ain't into what the fuck you're into, you know? All right, so it's turning a culture into a trend, basically. Yeah. Not, not entirely, but some people do, you know right. what I'm saying? So, but which is crazy, too, to me because, because, like, Normal outside people look at any type of juggler and think they're fucking assholes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I've experienced. It. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's like a it's a whole different breed, man. You know what I'm saying? People like will pick on them, and it, it, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like that's what's so cool about being a juggler, though, because you always got somebody else you can depend on and lean on and all that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's an annual thing we've been doing in Detroit since uh, way back in the day, you know what I'm saying? So every year on Halloween, we do our annual Hollow Wicked clown show. And uh, last year, we actually did maybe like, I think like six shows, just like real local in the Midwest, you know what I'm saying? But uh, this year, we were like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? It's time to take this on the road, make it big, you know what I'm saying? Because like, when we do in Detroit, you gotta understand, like people, people always think like, when we do shows in Detroit, you know, that like, it's just people from Detroit. That's not the fact, you know what I'm saying? Maybe like, a, not even the eighth of the people that come to the Hollow Wicked in Detroit are actually from Detroit. Juggalos travel from East Coast, West Coast, everywhere. It's a big thing, you know what I'm saying? So this year, you know, we decided instead of just doing like, you know, just a localized Detroit thing and making motherfuckers travel from everywhere, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna take it everywhere and let everybody see it, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Halloween in Detroit's pretty uh, crazy pretty crazy we got what you call devil's night the night before halloween where uh basically the citizens of detroit burn it down so it's awesome i remember being a kid you know sitting up on the roof and you could just see the different fires going everywhere and stuff you know and i guess it's calmed down a little bit nowadays you know what i'm saying but like back in the day it was real bad and then they switched uh what are they called mares or whatever the fuck you know and then uh they cracked down real hard on it, you know what I'm saying? So they thought I had it under control one year. This was like, what, like four or five years back, something like that. And then so they relaxed the next year, you know what I'm saying? The next year was like the most record fires ever. It was awesome. 
You know, if, if, I, if I had insurance problems with my bill, not pay some little thugs a couple of dollars and burn it down too. You know what I'm saying? But in the suburbs, you know, they throw eggs and toilet paper. I think they do that shit everywhere. So any city is probably crazy during Halloween. You know what I'm saying? It's a good time to uh, to commit robberies, to uh, stick people up. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's wearing a mask. You know what I'm saying? You can get away with some shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, put it this way. Like uh, Halloween, in Detroit at least, Halloween and New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve is kind of like the same because the perfect opportunity to stick motherfuckers up, you know what I'm saying, because at Halloween, you got the mask, you know what I'm saying, they're looking for, uh, I mean, what's the cool Halloween costume to be right now, what, uh, like, fucking, I don't know, who, like, one of the South Park characters, or whatever everybody's buying, you know, back in the day, it was something else, you know what I'm saying, so you just dress up like the main character everybody's dressing up for, like, on New Year's Eve, you know, in Detroit, like, at 12 o'clock, just the whole city's popping off their guns, you know what I'm saying, so, Perfect time to pop off your gun in the right direction, you know? Get paid. We'd be doing our shows. We'd be tricking the whole industry like we ain't shit and sitting back getting paid. That's our trick, you know what I'm saying? They all think we're just a couple dumbasses sitting around, but hey, that's all we do. We hang out at the bank more than we do the studio because we got so many fucking checks to cash, you know what I'm saying? Oh, check it out. I was Mr. T, see? Now, this is back in the day when Mr. T was the shit. I was so dope, I was him two years in a row. That's how fresh I was. No, no, you got two, two albums coming out soon. Uh, the Wraith remixes and, and yeah. the Tempest. So, yeah, uh, can you tell true. me what's up with those? Uh, the Wraith remix record is actually done. Is being pressed, and uh, I believe that's coming out before Christmas. Yeah, November fourteenth. That boy's coming out. But uh, you know, that's that we put that out because uh, you know we pushed the Tempest back just because of. Uh, uh, problems within Psychopathic, our manager, you know, had some shit going on, and we switched Alex. management and all that right. stuff, you know what I'm saying, so that got delayed a little bit, so just like a little bit of flavor to put out, you know what I'm saying, what we're waiting for the Tempest, which is gonna crumble the earth as we know it, you know what I'm saying, so we had uh, just top-notch juggalo producers, even some outside motherfuckers just remixing the whole record, putting their little flavor and taste on it, and uh, that's gonna be out, and uh, so far, hey, I, I think it's the bomb, you know what I'm saying, I hope right. everybody else does. For, for all us West Coast juggalos, any chance of a gathering? Uh, you know, I've traveled across. There the are twice. talks, my friend. There are talks because we're having lots of trouble finding like uh, campgrounds and stuff. We almost didn't have it this past year. You know what I'm saying? Because of troubles like with the cities letting us into their cities and shit because they think it's just gonna be like mayhem and craziness, and it never is. You know what I'm saying? So, so uh, yeah, we're we're seriously having talks about moving it more out west. It's all speculation right now. That's right. all I could say. But talks. That's what I'm saying. Cool. At this point, it's merely speculation. This is Eugene Morton for G4 TV's The Feed saying much clown love. Peace, y'all. Good.